the tribe has an enormous resource. They, the reservation is 1.3 million acres. The real estate department has identified about 100,000 acres of tillable ground. So if we were to put just 10% of that into biofuels production, that would make about a million gallons of biofuels annually. Right now, we're at Pascal Sherman Indian School. They run the biodiesel that we grow here in their school buses. And uh, everyone is happy and, and satisfied and looks forward to getting more fuel because everyone understands that it's, besides being good for the engines and the environment, it's also really good for the, the kids that ride the school buses. Um, petroleum diesel is 93% more carcinogenic than um, biodiesel. And so that's a really important fact when we think about how far these kids are traveling to and from school every day. They come from all over the reservation, mostly from OMAC, and the students come from Okanagan and um, almost as far as Nespeel. Farmers were seeing other farmers that would have entire fields uh, blooming in canola, and they asked them, hey, what are you doing up there, and, and is it working? And, um, and our professional farmers in the area that are so vital to this project were able to say, yeah, this is working great. I'm able to um, you know, get um, harmful weeds out of my field by cycling canola in, giving the ground a break. And um, one thing that I think is really interesting about this project is um, the idea of fuel sovereignty. So the Cabo Confederated tribes are a sovereign nation. And with this project, they can essentially create their own diesel. And it gives them a level of insulation from volatile markets and uh, political strife that's happening in the Middle East. Getting, a, getting the, the oil prepared to be turned into biodiesel, we take it through a chemical process called transesterification, where essentially we're taking the glycerin molecule off the fat molecule and, uh, and then adding in um, an alcohol molecule. So essentially in the end you get methyl esters and that's biodiesel. I think success looks like thousands of acres in canola production, um, a fair amount of infrastructure, so combines, seed cleaners, presses, and um, production equipment. Our agriculture sector is also going to be benefiting from this project too. So there will be less weeds in our fields. Um, there will also be more high protein meal for um, cattle and dairy animals to eat over the winter. Also the canola production in the region is going to create jobs. There's um, production jobs, there's um, the, the farming of it, so there it is a new sector that can be opened up and get um, people working. We're going to have a lot of kids happily riding to school in a, in a bus that uh, is healthy and you know it's fun to be on and smells like french fries.